In this short video, we're going to show you how to distinguish Pythium blight from uh, brown patch and some of the other uh, organisms that we've seen. Uh, to do so, after you've incubated a sample in a moist chamber and you have some mycelium, you need to sort of pick some of that mycelium off the foliage as you've seen us do in the past for uh, other diseases. And then we'll transfer uh, that mycelium as we're just hooking it on, on the end of the, my, of the uh, forceps and we transfer it to a drop of water on a microscope slide. Uh, you need to push the uh, mycelium off of the forceps uh, with another pair of forceps or uh, dissecting needle and you end up with a sort of a, a three stooges sort of problem here where you have uh, trying to get the gum off your shoe where you go back and forth a few times until you can get the mycelium to at least stay uh, on the slide and almost there. There we go. Now I think we got it off. Then once you have the mycelium off, you can uh, put a cover slip on top of that uh, sample. So we're going to be looking just at the hyphae. Uh, we're not looking at the plant tissues yet. We're going to just look at the hyphae and then drop the cover slip on there. And then we'll take it to a compound scope. And there's something I want to point out. This is a microscope that uses what's called phase contrast microscopy. You'll see the bright uh, hyphae marked at the top of the arrow. That is uh, a living hypha of the fungus that has uh, cytoplasm and it is bright colored. In the background, marked with another arrow, you'll see the darker, clear hyphae that is a dead hypha. Just for review, I'm going to show you a hypha from Rhizoctonia. Uh, this is a distinctly different species than Pythium, but it has some characters that uh, are important to recognize that separate out. Rhizoctonia and Thracnose or any one of the other organisms and that is the septa or cross walls that are highlighted here with the arrows. So when you see these cross walls, uh, one of the most important things you'll know is that you're not looking at Pythium species. So the absence of the cross walls pretty much gets you into the Pythium group. Now the reason this is important uh, to be able to tell the difference between living a dead hyphae is that if you watch this dark hyphae in the background which uh, it has lost its cytoplasm it's all flowed out and you can see as you're looking at that hypha that there is no septa uh, if there was septa in there we would have a bright spot where the septa prevented the cytoplasm from flowing out uh, with pythium species uh, where, the, where the hypha is broken like that the cytoplasm will just flow completely out of the hypha and you will be able to tell that there are no septa. So in this case, uh, it's pretty easy to tell, and we're going to just scan around a little bit more, that the hyphae of the fungus that's causing this problem have no septation. So this would put it uh, into that general group of the oomycetes, and that's close enough to, uh, to make a diagnosis uh, that this is caused by one of the Pythium species. This particular uh, strain that's on this plant uh, under these conditions did not make any oospores, or any hyphal swelling or what are called chlamydospores that would have given us any indication of the actual species beyond the genus Pythium. For information on management of Pythium, refer to the link that's associated with this video.